Hi there, and these comments are for AA. I'm just using your name for privacy purposes. And I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the TOEFL online course, the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And you are one of my students, and not just an online student, but you're one of my students over at California State University, San Bernardino, in the English language program. And thank you for completing. Uh, integrated speaking practice test number one. The reading passage and the speaker talk about advertising. The reading part focuses on politics side. The speaker, on the other hand, focuses on the economy side. First, okay, good. Let's go back to what you said just a minute ago. Hold on. Focuses on politics side. The speaker, on the other hand, focuses on the economy side. The reading passage and the speaker talk about advertising. Yes. Now that's exactly the purpose of the lecture. The reading part focuses on politics side. The speaker on the. You want to say the political side. The on the other hand, focuses on the economy side. First. Now you're kind of using unnecessary. You're you're saying more than what you need to say there. You can just say something like this. This is a more concise version of what you just said. The reading and the listening passage discuss the political and the economic effects of advertising. And then you go directly to the reading passage. First, the reading passage explains how advertisement taking a big part of our daily life. TV at home, radios at our car. It explains how it's related to politics by giving an example. Simply if Okay, good. So you're framing the information from the reading passage, which is the appropriate point of view that you want to use here, and you're also using simple present verbs to do that. Simply, if a person wants to vote for a candidate, they will base their choice. And use the word v. Pronounce that v a little bit more. Vote, vote for a candidate. Their choice on what they have heard or seen on the uh, advertisement. Okay. It is controversial that billboard are two ways to influence how people vote. Second. The listening part focuses on uh, the effect of advertisement on the consumer. Uh, a person would not it's buy. It's not just the effects, but the economic effects. Not buy a product unless they're familiar with. However, advertisement could be positive or negative. It is the consumer job to figure that out. Lastly, the reading and the listening focuses on advertisement both. Okay. Okay, so you you ran out of time when you got near the end there, so you should have spent more time on the listening passage. So ask yourself, where could you eliminate unnecessary uh, words in your response? So your the beginning of your response, you could have presented a more concise topic statement there. And I think it's unnecessary to worry about a conclusion as long as you cover the most important parts of the reading and the listening passage. So uh, let's take a look at your score here. Okay, so overall, I think that you were missing some important ideas from the lecture, I think. You probably could have focused more on that. You kind of ran out of time there. So on this one, I'm going to put you at about 2.33 out of four, uh, 18 points out of 30 on this particular uh, practice test. All right, now let's take a look at your score here. Let me find the syllabus here. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at what your grade is on this one. Okay, here we go. So I gave you 2.3. So these are the percentages for integrated speaking. So 2.3. This is going to put you at even 80% on this particular assignment. So the main thing is you want a shorter, a more concise introduction. And you want to make sure you include all the important points from the lecture. You did a brilliant job on the reading. If anything, you spent more time on the reading passage and not enough time uh, on the lecture. Now, in terms of lessons here, let's go to my course for just a minute. 
uh, with there are some grammar lessons I think that you can review to help you improve I think uh, how you're combining your ideas How about this? Take a look at lesson number five, compound sentences. You probably could have used that in the beginning of your response. Now also take a look at this one. Lesson number 27, grammar lesson 27, it's called being more concise. That's also, I think, an important lesson for you right now to help you be a little more concise in how you present your ideas. All right. Anyway, thank you for completing that integrated speaking practice test. I look forward to hearing from you again.